Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, I here with a Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. I hope you guys are enjoying. You guys have been killing the like button, killing the views, doing a lot better than I expected it would be. And I can't tell you how happy I am for that. You guys are awesome. I'm looking for somebody to partner to do my next series with. So if you know anybody, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new. Or if you just enjoy the content, which I really hope you guys are. But also, uh, yeah, if you know anybody that would want to do a series, let me know. I engage with any comment I can. And if you want a Pokemon named after you, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment of <coughs> whatever name you would like it to be. But we're in Goldenrod right now. We gotta go down through, clear the basement, and then um, I believe I have to make my way back through the... Um, radio tower I have to save the president I believe is what's on the agenda today as you can see I am also using the Entei that I caught at the end of the shiny episode because I couldn't get my first encounter to spawn again when I did it, so Entei was the next encounter, so I'm playing it as a Nuzlocke off of that. I know that I wasn't recording, I was just trying to catch back up, but I wanted to make sure at the beginning of the last video you guys saw that I did have an Entei. Granted, yes, my team is going to be better because I have the Entei, but I'm kind of sad I don't have what I had because it kind of diversified my team more. This underground, I never understand the leveling of it because like they have a bunch of sevens and tens and elevens. It's like, <coughs> I'm pretty sure Whitney had like twenties, give or take for her Pokemon. Why are people in her city using Pokemon that are only 710. Like, that's not very good training, even if you're trying to train up here prior. I think my team's looking very good right now. Kenya needs to start pulling his weight though. He needs to start bringing in some better items. Let's get through this gym. I was looking up what I had to do first, sorry. And yeah, so. I guess I gotta go through the gym first. I haven't done this ice puzzle ever. Because this is my first real playthrough of Heart Gold or Soul Silver. But I mean, I played Gold, Silver, Crystal. Just the puzzle was different then. I mean, it seems pretty simple. Sorry about the coughs. I think I messed up. I thought it dragon raged me at first whenever I read that. Like, I wanted to know why a chat hot knew dragon rage. 
I really can't afford to be losing anybody at this stage either. Thinking about it, because I mean, after this, I think I only got like one or two encounters. Then I have the eighth gym. And then I have one encounter, I believe. And I have a legendary, I think. At, um, for my ho -Oh. but if I lose any team members, I could really, um, be in jeopardy. Thinking about that now, yeah, I could be in a lot of jeopardy if I lose someone. I need to be careful. I mean, granted, I have Ente, Lugia, um, Arceus on my team, but, like, <coughs> if I lost Bushed and Mistletoe, I could be in a lot of trouble. I mean, just thinking about it, like, it's kind of scary. Finally figuring out this puzzle, too. I mean, just taking me a lot longer than needed. Dot, what are you doing? Why are you doing this when Daddy's trying to play? Also, if you guys haven't been I've been playing over on Twitch as well I'm streaming Baldur's Gate Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon X over there right now plus a Pokemon XD run through ran all randomized except for Baldur's Gate but <clears throat> At the time of recording this, actually, I will be getting ready to stream. So I hope to see you guys there as well. I greatly appreciate all the crossover you guys do do. And I also got to give a giant shout out to my editor. He does a great job getting these out to you guys. But thank you for all the support for real it it's great I just I love using my Arceus against another Arceus it's like who has the better Arceus apparently mine is but <clears throat> I've also had a lot of broken Pokemon in this series that I've lost like my Typhlosion still hurts but Entei kind of fills that gap I'm I'm excited to see what my legendary encounter is going to be. Got Dragon Claw. I I really think. <clears throat> like back in the day playing this oh I gotta go to the radio tower now awesome I can do that they're talking about Team Rocket I don't think it's Team Rocket they're disbanded you're silly professor but um what was it saying I think back in the day, before I even knew what a randomizer was, when I was playing this game, or this game, uh, gold, silver, I think my favorite gym was the dragon gym, just because the puzzle was 
decent. Ice puzzles really don't take a long time in the old gens. They're getting a little harder. But. I've lost so many good Pokemon. Just showing you guys the natures of. Or the abilities of the ones I've evolved. Because I did that in between to get everybody up to level I need to go get a uh, a leaf stone or do I have a leaf stone I don't think I do I need to buy one though but let's get into the um, the tower I always love to like, oh, ha, ha. you can't go. It's none of your business. Like, I'm going to go in here. Come on now. You're not even trying to stop me from going in there. Oh, I got to dress up as Team Rocket. Okay. Let's go back and get an outfit. I wonder where I have to go. I bet I have to go down in the the um oh what is it the underground is that what everybody wants to call it oh here you can borrow and you might as well change into it as well oh you look pretty good we're gonna fool that professor oak Some of the craziest schemes. Still my favorite antagonist, though. I think they always have to be the favorite antagonist. Oh, look, it's Austin. What are you doing here? What? You're dressed up as one of them. You're not a newcomer. Yeah, I'm going to smack your team. I think halfway through this or whatnot, I'm going to switch up the team just a little bit and get some other people leveled up some to share the wealth. Plus, I need to find a, another setup for this team in case I do lose someone. Help, they're taking over the tower. <coughs> Good thing the AI is just dumb. I love that there's like, oh, Team Rocket's here. Like, everybody would be allowed to talk to me or whatnot. I want myself a Gyarados. That would be great. I'm trying to play and my cats are just like, oh, I must, I must come play with you now, Dad. But they're good girls. They like watching Pokemon. Actually, one of my Pokemon is named after my um one of my cats. I've always thought Darkrai was a good Pokemon, but every time I watch him in somebody else's video, they they kind of show why he's not. Like, he doesn't get a big move set or anything. Just gonna jump back to the. 
PC. I mean, like I said, I want to switch up the team a little bit just to to try something out because I don't really have a psychic Pokemon. I mean, I do and I don't. Gotta take the King's Rock off him though. <clears throat> Man, I really wish I'd get over this cold, but I am. Um... I would like to uh, diversify my team a little bit, which I'll probably end up swapping Mistletoe for Bushed, I think. I don't know, because Bushed has Earthquake. It's such a good move. Just trying to get all around here. I forgot how leveled up Hooden was already. I can't afford to lose him though, like, I need to make sure I'm paying attention. Sable, I was doing a lot more damage than I wanted to, good thing I have a bite. Smooch him. Bite. I should have used Bite. I'm pretty sure it's super effective, but the only thing that would make this Torterra better is if it was huge power or something, just because it hits so hard already. Like, with anything stab, it hits so hard. I just love that these people are like, oh, we're just going to stay in the building, though. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, let me know down in the comments below. If you made it this far through the video, comment taco. Because I really want a taco. It sounds delicious. I can't afford to lose Kenya either, though. Like, yeah, I'm leveling him up to try to change his his pickup item pool but at the same time I can't afford to lose the pickup man either I could I guess but it's just nice having it because oh if I find four TMs in a video and I sell them then I have balls like I could buy balls left and right having a pickup mon is probably the best ability to get especially early game when I got him really because I got him before the third gym. We just got to keep him from evolving, though, after we use him. That's the thing, because if I evolve him, then he's going to lose that ability. And then he's useless. 
And then I have to figure out a whole nother team member, basically. Just kind of make sure everybody's got some XP out of this this um adventure. Like, why am I fighting thirty two at the gym, and now an event that's happening after that gym goes back down to twenty? Like. Those were 22s. Oh, there's a 30. So this is what I'm saying. It just doesn't make sense to me, the the back and forth of this. Oh, hi, director. Oh, look. It's not the director. Who's surprised? Oh, my. That disguise got me. I also, I'm not sure what my next series is going to be. Yet. I haven't um, picked a game. If I have a partner, I'd probably like to do a Soul Link. And see what game they would want to do. But... If I do a solo project, I'm not sure. I'll probably either do a um, an original, so red, yellow, blue, or I'll probably do like diamond and pearl or platinum because I've never actually played those. I've only played the new BDSP versions. So if you have anything you want to see me do, let me know. I eventually also will be playing Gale of Darkness and Pokemon Coliseum on here as well. I'm not so sure that those won't be stream series though. And all the support, all the chats, everything have been great. On every stream I do, you guys show up, oh look, talking about the legendary Pokemon. Let's go down into another Team Rocket base. Twenty-seven. I mean, it falls back again and I I don't get it, like Really? You want to fight me now? Why didn't you just fight me earlier? If you cost me a team member before I have to go through this base, I'm going to be so mad. I forgot that he's normal type and fighting is super effective. Just leaving him in on both those fighting Pokemon. And then that's super effective. We're just going to earth power our way through the team. Oh, man. Go fight this guy. And then I got to figure out what buttons to hit. What do you mean? The nice thing is, I'm getting levels, so I'm not going to be, like, 
under leveled by any means because I know when we get to Kanto things are gonna get hard but at the same time I don't want to be too over leveled either oh Zapdos I would love to have a Zapdos actually like it's not my favorite of the legendary trio but I, it's probably my second favorite. Moltres is probably my least favorite. I love Articuno. Articuno was my original favorite legendary when I first started playing Pokemon all the way back when it came out. I, um, I loved Articuno. And then when I got into playing Gold and Silver... The Johto region became my my love. Like I love this region; it's by far my favorite region. But um, then Ho -Oh kind of took over as my favorite legendary, and then Rayquaza is is there kind of now. It, it's either Rayquaza. Or Groudon are my favorite legendaries at the, at the current moment. But Articuno and Moltres. Like, the original three are always going to have a place in my heart. But Articuno and Ho-Oh, sorry, um, are always going to be in my favorites. But, uh, this, um... This base seems pretty simple. Go fight one more guy. And then I see the director there. I think it's the director at least. Or not the director, sorry. Ouch. Man. What is the director? I'm telling you, cats will get into anything when you're just like, oh, I, I need to do this. Good thing I have a second while I'm on the elevator. <laughs> Went to the wrong floor. Go heal up. Because again, you can never be too safe, especially in a Nuzlocke. Losing Pokemon is is not good. It's just not. Man. Here we go, back up in the tower again. So now I gotta fight you. Got an incense, that's some money. So now I gotta fight this guy. Sheldon, Razorleaf, dead. Warcher, Razorleaf, dead. And that's a quick fight. Oh, yeah, you're the guy. Yeah, I stopped you from taking slow poke tails. And look at you with a slow bro. A Volby. Protect on the earthquake. Tail glowed. How did it survive? What? Are you kidding? To a Volby? Are you serious? Wasn't I just talking about not losing a team member? I'm 
well, let's just go up here. See what's gonna happen, I guess, huh? I really, really need to stop losing people. <laughs> or Pokemon like that. I mean, I'm glad it was bushed over e any of my legendaries. If it would have been any of my legendaries... I would have been so more upset. But it, I'm upset that I lost him because I just lost Earthquake. What am... What? Oh, sh... What am I supposed to do here? Okay. I guess if I lose... If I lose... Um, Kenya, I'm not mad. Oh! Stop it. Stop it. This is why Wobbuffet and um, Why Not are the worst Pokemon. Because if you face one, it's just counter, counter, counter. Mirror coat, like, It's not a fun game to play. Like, it's very scary when you're like, oh, if I don't one shot this Pokemon, it's going to double the damage back on me pretty much. Or more sometimes. Almost lost back to back Pokemon there. That would have. That one wouldn't have been as devastating, though, as. As, um. What I lost already. All the way at the top. I think it's a very cool design in this game. I like how they do everything. Fly on Vile Plume. How didn't that kill? Now I'm poisoned. Or paralyzed, sorry, not poison. I'm tired. And I still have the next video to record for you guys, too. I'm, I'm really happy with the way this series has went so far. You guys are amazing. If you would like, sl like, smaller video, like, smaller videos, but more... I could do that as well. It's really what you guys want. Maybe the next series I'll try like 15 minute videos. Or 20 minute videos maybe. I cannot lose another Pokemon here. Yeah, just paralyze me again. That's, that's dope. Glad I have a full restore. Earth power. Earth power. Nope. Oh, sorry. This cold needs to go away. So I beat him. Now we will, uh, be rid of Team Rocket again. I wish you got a nice view out of this. I want to know why he had the rainbow wing. I just, I don't. I don't get it. Would you almost forget, old man? The legendary poking will not.
it won't appear unless you go to the top of the bell tower with that rainbow wing. So that means I can finally get my hello encounter. Yeah, right? And Tello's encounter. And then I am. Um, I keep losing my word here. And then I can start my way to the eighth gym. But again, you guys have been awesome so far. Thank you so much for all the support. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new. If you have something to say, feel free to leave it in the comments. Just be positive is all I'm asking. Because you guys are being amazing already. I want to build a great community with everybody. And I want everybody to have a good time. I don't want anybody to feel like they can't. Um... Yes, the director is a nice guy. Uh, I don't want anybody to feel like they can't say something here. Also, if you want, Discord is in the description. If you want to join there, you can message me in the Discord and have a better chance, honestly, of me chatting with you there. But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you for everything. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.